Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Gosha Dude here, and welcome to the Bootleg Show, episode 10. And you are looking the title, yes, Waspix from Nego Hero Factor. Now, why is this a bootleg? Well, also, you can see the other name that's up there, also. His name is Spider, for some freaking reason. This is the, uh, the box that it came in. I uh, got this thing for like under $5. Under $5. Just want to give you a quick look at the box. Earth to turn Larry, war for the invader from space, do it yourself, connect them all. Three storm, age of six and up, 49 pieces, and spider. There's some scenes from the comic book, Hero Factory. So, yeah, see, 98,000, that's just 2,000 underneath five bucks. So, there's all this, blah blah blah. Wolf Jaw, not Fangs, Wolf Jaw. Red Jaw, not um, Raw Jaw. And a Scorpion, which is close to Scorpio. So, that's real close. So, that's a box. Now, I want you guys, I want you guys to see the box. Just, just look at the box. You see, nice, you know, villain coming down from the skies. Well, you get this guy. For some reason, his head is red. So yeah, this guy would have easily cost thirteen, ten dollars back in the United States. But man, in Vietnam, you get him for five bucks, under five bucks. And he's pretty decent. He does feel noose at some points, and you guys can't see his whole body. Actually, he stands up really tall. Let me see how tall I can get this guy standing up. So yeah, he is pretty, pretty damn tall. Um, example. Here's a can of summon up. So he's a pretty tall figure. Try to get my camera stand standing up. Actually, this won't be high enough camera stand. I'll take this. There we go. You see there, he is very poseable. Ball joints every freaking well. Um, so, I guess I'll go with the Altecan Nation. His head is on this real neck double joint kind of thing. I do hate how hollow this mouth is. I mean, I do have Scorpio. I mean, I have a review of it. You guys can go check it out on my channel. They have a review of Scorpio, but it's pretty much the same head. It's just that it's red. Which kind of... It does kill the whole effect of him having a whole yellow body. But, oh well. He does have the tra nice translucent um, pieces right here. And we look at the detailed special pieces. He has three of them. So, so yeah, articulation, ball joint there, ball joint there, ball joint the wrist, nice hard rubber hands. So he's very nicely articulated. This guy has four arms, so he's pretty menacing. It's kind of like a skinny insect version of Goro from Mortal Kombat. And he does have a tail, which you put in the wrong position, you can do, you know, some wrong things. But yeah, uh, Neg has too many joints articulation, and it feels really loose, oh yeah, I can't speak English today, really loose right here and right here on both sides. So it's like, I can him squat down. See, I just put him down. He'll stand up, but if I move him around just a bit, he'll just fall down. You can't keep his pose. But it's a pretty cool thing to add to my collection. Because I cannot find this guy um, on discount back in the uh, United States. But I did find a, uh, I did see another store that was sending Raja, and I might get him also. So yeah, pretty interesting figure to look at. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of the Bootleg Show. Hope you guys enjoyed this re review of a bootleg toy. And even more, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys later. And I actually got him into a pretty decent pose.